Hello folks, welcome to this new video, my name is Andre and today we're going to see how to make glitches and collaboration in Krita. Now this one was made by my brother in less than 2 minutes in Photoshop and I was totally impressed and I wondered if I can make that in Krita. Now let's start with color aberration. The colors in digital softwares are given by three channels of colors, red, green and blue. These are the basic ones obviously, but you can change the red channels with shine, but I'm not going through that right now. Differently from Photoshop, you can manipulate only one of these channels. So to make color aberration, you need to duplicate three times your image. Rename each level basically with red, blue and green. Now what's going to happen is that you need to open the properties of each level and deactivate the color channels leaving only one of them. Now you have three images with three different colors, red, green and blue. By now probably you already got this. Just grab the moving tool and shift each level a few pixels and voila, you have some color aberration. Now let's go through the other one and how to make glitches. Like for the color aberration, duplicate three times your image, rename them and deactivate the color channels. Now for each color channel you're going to use some filters, so go to filter and open the gimmick. I usually use my filters only on the red channel and the green one, but you can make on the blue as well. So go to artistic and use cubism. Remember that what you're seeing on the preview isn't affecting all the three channels, so you have some green red glitches for each one. So tweak a little bit the settings until you find someone that satisfies you. I will definitely go a little bit high on thickness because that makes the image a little bit cooler. And once you apply a little bit of cubism on the red green channel or blue one, now you can move to the next filter. Go to deformation and use ripple. Before we start, I would suggest to change the shape from triangle or whatever to random. The amplitude is going to be the height of the spikes, while bandwidth will be the number of the spikes, and the angle will be the direction. So I will definitely change a little bit this, I will increase the amplitude, decrease the bandwidth and obviously the angle can go from 90s or 0. 0 will be horizontal spikes, while 90 degrees will be the vertical one. Once you're done, close the gimmick and voila, you're done <laughs> and you have some glitches here. Now match all the levels together and then if you want you can apply another filter, that is the wave, you can find it on others and that will give more dynamism to your image as well. But wait, I had some writing there, it disappeared. Like you saw, I made 4 duplicates of my image and I have the old one with no filters on it. What I'm going to do is to grab a brush that has some texture in it, activate the rising and erase some of the glitched image. And now you're really done. Ok guys, this was all for this video, hope you enjoyed it and learned something. Leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on the other social media and keep Keep making games, um, art, art in this case, keep making art.